In this video, we're going to continue our discussion with histograms. So let's take a look at the next example. So the data below represents the number of televisions in a household. So we want to create a frequency histogram where the first class has a lower class limit of zero and a class width of two. All right, so that's going to be the classes with the frequency. So again, the first class is a lower class of 2, and the class width is going to be 2. So 0 plus 2 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, and 4 plus 2 is 6, even though there's none that are going to have 6. So the upper class limit, that's going to be from 0 to 1. Add 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, and 3 plus 2 is 5. So there are my classes. So now I need to be able to determine what the frequency of each class is going to be. Well, 0 or 1 has a frequency of 8, 2 or 3 has a frequency of 7, and 4 or 5 has a frequency of 5. And remember, you would add all these three numbers up and it should equal the total data values, which in this case is 20. So now I'm going to use this information to create my frequency histogram. So let me set this up now. So the setup, we have a title, number of televisions in a household. The horizontal and vertical axes are labeled number of televisions and frequency. So here I'm going to go with a frequency of 2. So I'll start with 0 and go to 2, then go to 4, then go to 6, and then go to 8. Okay, 0 to 1, that is a frequency of 8. So I'm going to put that dot here. Bring it down, go across, come down. So here I'll label this zero. The next one has seven, so I'll put the dot here. So go across and then come down. So that one will be labeled with a two. And then the next one is five. So I'll put that here, go across and come down. So that'll be four. And of course, the very last one will be six. So there's our frequency, frequency histogram for this problem. Now, let's put this into the calculator. But before we do that, let's talk about the six important values that we're going to put in. First off, the x min, that's the lower class limit for us, so that is going to be 0. The x max, remember that's going to be the next lower class limit that would be used if it would continue, which in this case I have circled, which is 6. The x scale, which is our class width, that is 2 in this case. The y minimum is 0 as always. The y max, remember that's the, frequ the highest frequency plus 1, that's 8 plus 1, that's 9. And the y scale, I used 2 in this particular case. So now let's put this information into the calculator now. So first off, we need to put it into the calculator. So hit Stat. Make sure it's Edit. Hit Enter. Remember, highlight L1. Hit the Clear button. Hit Enter. That erases all the data. So now I'm going to put all the data values into the calculator now. So I put all the data values in. Again, I have 20 of them here. So as a quick reminder, how do we get the histogram? Hit second and y equals. Plot one, make sure that's on. Make sure that's highlighted on and hit enter. Make sure you highlight the correct picture and hit enter. X list is L1. Frequency is one, that's fine. Now we gotta put those six particular values we talked about on the paper into the calculator. So hit window. So the X min is zero, hit enter. X max was 6 for us, that hit enter. X scale, which is the class width, which is 2. Y minimum, that is a 0. Y max is 9. And the Y scale was 2. So now that we have those six data values in, hit the graph button. And there's our histogram. So again, hit the trace button. Let's us know that we have eight values. That is 0, but less than 2. The next one has 7. And the last one has five, just like we have on our paper. 